Alberta has recorded another COVID-19 related death, bringing the total to 24. A woman in her 80s at the Mackenzie Town Long-Term Care Centre in Calgary has died. That's the 11th death inside that facility alone. Another 98 cases have been recorded, bringing the total to 1,348 in Alberta. 90 people have been hospitalized and 31 have been in intensive care. Now, these are the numbers that we've been updating on a daily basis for the last month. Tomorrow, we are going to be looking ahead. The province will release its modeling numbers, predicting how much and how long this virus will be in Alberta. I think a, a question a lot of Albertans just want to know is when is this all going to be over? We will not be able to answer that with, with certainty, but I think we can give uh, people a sense of, of when we think we might be able to begin to relax uh, some of the public health orders and social distancing protocols. The modeling will be a live televised address by the Premier. You can see it right here on City News at 6. The Premier also concerned with the warmer weather that more people may be ignoring public health orders. Once again, ask people uh, to please, this is a critical moment, an absolutely critical moment. You will hear in our presentation later this week that we expect the peak to hit several weeks from now. And how high that peak goes then depends a lot on how people uh, conduct themselves now. Dr. Dina Hinshaw is cautiously recommending the use of face masks after Canada's chief medical officer made a similar recommendation earlier today. Because there are some potential, uh, again, possible harms of mask use, that this would be something that only those really who are going to be in situations where they, they can't avoid coming into closer contact with people. But again, the best advice from all health officials is to stay home to flatten the curve. Reporting in Edmonton, Kevin Armstrong, City News.